everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the channel. I'm um, feeling much, much better, so that is a plus. Uh, today I am doing a second piece to my fragmented series where I'm just kind of laying out lines, doing some swiping, spinning, keeping lots and lots of negative space. So I've got some really cool colors. I'm using some paints. I'm using some uh, uh, mica powders. So I'm hopefully going to get a really cool combination of color and cells and lacing. So let's get down the canvas and get started. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So what I've got today is a deep edge 16 by 16 gallery wrap canvas. Um, this is my second painting that I'm doing. That's my fragmented series. Like I said, I'll probably do four or five of these pieces and I will change different sizes of canvas. Um, I'm painting over top of this. I like what happened here, but I wasn't real fan up here. So I'm going to just pour over top of it. So I've got my PPG multi pro. I'm going to put down in nice big circle here. There we go. And what I'll be doing today is laying out my colors in some sort of fashion of line. We'll see. I'll swipe them and spin them. So my first color today is TLP in groovy. And so let's see here. I think what I'll do today, kind of just pour out like that. Kind of letting it flow. And my next is going to be Amsterdam in deep gold. It's one of those things where I kind of want to just pour the paint. Gold's a little thicker than I want it to be. Seems to thicken up pretty quick. This is TLP in Constellation. Got some King's Blue from um, Amsterdam. And something you kind of just wor don't have to worry about is your ends. If they're a little gloopy like what I've done here, they are, um, it's gonna get spun off, so it's okay. My Lex color is Mystical Mauve from Color Art. keep hitting my cup in the paint. I think what I'll do today is use some black cell activator to go over this. So I'm going to be using my oxide black, which is one part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol.
while everything is selling up here, what I'll do is do a little doodling. Maybe pick up some stuff and create some extra lines here. Um, let's go with this side. Kind of picking things up, dragging around. Kind of just creating some spokes, like a tire, bringing things, colors around. Put some white around this edge here. Let's give this bad boy a spin, see what happens. Digging it. Got to get some of this down here. This is really cool. I like this. Let me make sure I've got enough paint off my sides. I like the way this opened up. Let's see here. like the way things fanned out. See my little lines that I made. Really, really cool. All right, I'm going to uh, make sure everything looks good, scrape, and then I will bring you guys down. 
All right, everyone, here is the wet result. I am very pleased with this. I love the composition. I love how everything kind of fanned out. It's very, very fragmented. That's why I'm calling it the fragmented series. Um, great colors too. I would have never really thought about putting these colors together when I was picking them, but I thought, let's go outside the box. All right, let's see how this dries. I'll be back. All right, here we are with the dried results. Sorry it's in the shade, but the sun is slowly coming out, but I have to go to work. Okay guys, that is it. So that is the piece. That's so cool. I'm going to put resin on it because that's going to make everything really pop. But check out that fluorescent pink color. Really, really cool. That darker uh, mauve color. Really cool as well. Very, very happy with the piece. Having a lot of fun with this fragmented series. So uh, this is piece number two. I will get uh, piece number three probably going in another week or so. Um, this is going to get two coats of Let's Resin, and it'll go up on my website. Everybody, please don't forget, you can purchase my art from my website directly at studio15acrylics.com. All right, everyone. Have everyone have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.